Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to be having a look at how you can make your game beautiful and install visual mods. So this video is going to be part of a playlist called Learn GTA 5 Modding Albos Way. If you haven't checked out the other parts of that playlist, make sure to check that out. I teach you how to mod your game completely like I do. So if you are interested in that, then make sure to check out the link in the top right right now. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So there are quite a lot of visual mods that you can install. Like Make Visuals Great Again, uh, Visual 5, Natural Vision. Uh, I prefer the Make Visuals Great Again by Competence, so that is the one I'm going to be installing. However, all the visual mods have a similar installation process, so if you watch me installing this one, you should be able to install other ones as well. And we are specifically going to be having a look at how you can install OOV files, which are really easy to install and don't really take that much effort at all. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download the Make Visuals Great Again mod. Quite obvious that it is a visual mod, so we're just going to click download the file, uh, complete the security check, and download the file. And once it is finished downloading, we are going to open the file using WinRAR or a different extraction program, and we're going to be using the extract to option, so make sure you extract the files. And once that is done, we can see that we've got the Make Visuals Great Again folder right up over here. We can open that. And as you can see, it comes with three folders. One is the automatic installation, the second is the manual installation, and the third one is the optionals. Obviously, we also have the README here as well. So open the README, give it a quick read if you need to. We'll do that right now. It gives you a few tips and tricks on how to install it properly, and it gives a few credits and terms and that kind of thing. We are just going to walk through the installation process that I prefer, and that, in my opinion, makes your game look the best. So what we are going to have to do is we're going to have to open the OpenIV application that we installed in the previous videos. And we are going to click Windows on the Grand Theft Auto 5 uh, area. And once that is all loaded in, you should be greeted with your GTA 5 folder. And we should still have a mods folder from the previous time as well. So what we are going to do is we are going to go into the Tools option menu and we are going to select Package Installer. And then we are going to navigate over to our download slash GTA 5 mods folder into the visuals folder. And then we are going to open the make visuals great again folder. And we are going to go into the automatic installation bit. And make sure to select the bikers dlc.org unless you're running a very old version of the game. But yeah, make sure to select the bikers dlc. And then as you can see, this is going to pop up. So now we are installing the OIV file of make visuals great again. Give you a little bit of information. Uh, you're going to want to click the install button and make sure to install it into your mods folder because otherwise you're going to be very sorry if it goes wrong. Um, it's going to install, you're going to have to give it a few seconds and after that it should come up with it has been installed successfully. And we can close this option box and that basically has installed the Make Visuals Great to get modification. Now something that I personally like doing a lot is going into the optionals folder and installing the no motion blur option because otherwise your game is going to get very very blurry. Uh, most other people that I have spoken to do agree with me on this one. Uh, so we're going to, in to install this, we're going to go into the mods folder, update, update RPF, common, data, and then time cycle. And we're going to activate edit mode just like that. And then you're going to drag and drop this time cycle mods 1.xml file into here. Just like that. Alternatively, you can right click this one and then select replace and then navigate into here and select this file. Uh, I just drag and drop it because that's easier to do for me. And then you can deactivate edit mode and that has basically installed the Make Visuals Great Again visual mod. Now, another thing that people like doing is installing the Reshade plus EMB option. Uh, I personally don't do this because it makes your game a little less stable for me at least. Uh, it varies for quite a lot of people how stable the game is. So if you'd like to give this a try, yeah, make sure to give it a try. It makes your game look even better. Um, but for me, uh, I prefer a little bit more stability in my game, so I don't install that. I think the stuff that I've installed now is already more than enough to make your game look very nice. And once you finish that, you should be able to start taking screenshots, just like I have done in this uh, wallpaper background that I have. This screenshot was taken using Make Visuals Great again. So the installation was now successful. That is really all it takes to install OIV files and uh, the Make Visuals Great again modification. I do hope this helped you make your game more beautiful. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like. And if you haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing to the channel to stay up to date with future content and tutorials. And if you haven't checked out the playlist with the Learn GTA 5 modding Elbows Way uh, content, make sure to click the card on screen right now to follow all the other tutorials that I have on there. And with that being said, everyone, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.